Hello everyone, I am Amna Mazin with you in a new tutorial step by step for Zawidux R. Uh, in previous videos, I showed to you how uh, to make your Widux arm ready to work with Rust, then giving uh, commands to every joint of the arm by using uh, the robotics GUI and by using direct uh, Rust topics to send some values to every joint. Then we make some ROS package to control every joint here in the Widux R. But in all the previous videos, we didn't use any motion planning. So the motion of the arm was uh, rough and it wasn't the best to do with it. So here we have uh, in ROS, we have some software, it's called the Move It. It is for the uh, manipulations which means the uh, arm robots it provides a motion planner it provides 3d perception um, so here in this video I will show to you how to uh, install the move it uh, for the Widux arm and how to use it to go to make the arm go to specific uh, positions okay so here I make a uh, some documentation about this on github as we do with all the videos we did before so here to make my Redux arm ready to work with move it we need some dependence packages that should be installed here and as we using uh, ubuntu 16.4 and ras uh, kinetic we need some dependence so the first thing i will do is to install this uh, dependence. So the first one is htop. So I just opened a new terminal and here I will install it. So here, paste and enter the password. Okay, then I want to install something, some packages that's related to connect which are two. The first one I want the move it package for connect the ROS kinetic and also I need the point cloud for the ROS kinetic so I will install both of them by using this command okay once I did this I will create a workspace and uh, I will clone the packages for the Redux arm with move it then I will launch it okay so here I will create uh, a workspace I will call it Redux R so just I will take this copy I will make a directory which is uh, Redux arm then another directory inside which is a source then I will go to the source to clone any package okay then I will clone two packages one for the Redux arm with move it the other one is for the robotics ROS then I will make a in me so I will go back to the workspace and will make a in make this is super easy takes few min few seconds and we will be ready you should get here hundred percent which means you did a uh, full uh, making of the catechin mm -hmm. okay we are ready so what we will do right now we will make sourcing and we will make uh give access to access this uh the port that is this arm is connected to as we said before it is uh, slash dev slash gty usb zero so i will say sudo change mode three seven okay then develop Dev device TTY USB 0. Okay, then I will launch it. I say here of launch arm bring up 
arm move it and here there is two options which is simulation and which is SR300 what are those simulation if I want to launch with uh, Arvis I want to launch gazebo but in my case I, I didn't need a uh, gazebo so I said it false I didn't need it the other one is for the camera in next videos we will use the camera uh, to uh, recognize the objects and move it so here's the camera that is connected to by using this package it's called SR300 it is not the only one you can work with we can change it okay I will show this to you later but it says here do you want the camera or not true or false I said false I didn't need the camera right now I just will make motion planning to different positions so then I will say go okay so when I launch it uh, I want to give it uh, different commands to go to different positions okay so I go here to a tab called planning and I will choose one of the goal state okay when you make this package I will show to you in uh, perhaps the next videos how to create this package by yourself sometimes you make some positions uh, available for you like, like here it make here four positions one called the default position default position is their value to every joint and another one is alternate and the other one is pull back to position Another one is uh, ground calibration uh, position. So, and then there's random ones like random va valid and uh, so on. Okay, so let me try some of them. The first one is uh, if I want to launch one of them, I will go, I choose it. So it is default and then press update. So I am here in this position, as you see here in my robot, I am in this position and I want to go to this position. So first I say plan, you can choose plan or plan and execute. I prefer to click first on plan to see it here in the simulation that it is planned uh, perfectly and there is no problem in moving from the first position to the second position. Then I say plan and execute so it will uh, move here in my robot, okay? So I will say plan and see yeah it goes here smoothly everything is good so i will say plan and execute okay so this is the default position as i said it is zero for everything zero for uh all the joints let's try another one there is one here it's called alternate position i choose it i said update it is this shape so i said okay plan so it will move from my current position to this one. It moves smoothly, there is no problem. So I will say plan and execute. Okay, let's uh, try another one. Let's try one of the random ones, not the ones that we specified before. So let's say random update. Let me see how it is. Okay, it is like all up. This is good, no problem. Okay, let's say plan. So from my position, it will go like this. Smoothly, everything is good. As we have a, a motion planner, so the motion of the arm now became more smoothing than before, than just sending some values to the joints. So I will say plan and execute. And I hope you can see it. It's here. It is the same as shown in the simulation okay so uh, let me return back to some other value let's say the alternate one here okay, okay. Uh, so here in uh, this positions I choose the planning group to be the widox arm which means this part is which means all the joints step except for the one for the gripper okay now you can also choose instead of the grouping to be with XR I can choose the widox gripper this one I can control it so I also first I choose the, the group I go to the goal state here there is two options that is uh, predefined before so there is gripper closed so it is all closed 
or graber open which means all open let's try one of them so the graber right now is is open so i will choose choose to be closed i will say update i will plan so here it moves smoothly everything is okay okay so i will go and execute it see so it is totally closed let's try another one the one that is totally open so here i will say update so it is totally open i will make plan so here it, it moves all the way to be all open i will make see so that's it for this video in next videos i plan to use uh the camera and make some uh good stuff like baking and sorting or baking and placing some objects i also plan to uh, show to you how to make some package like this for any arm robot you have okay so see you in next video